from Charlton. It's worth trying. And here comes Charlton. Oh, great goal! Bob, you'll be hoping to hit a few drives as sweetly as you ripped in those great goals, eh? Well, I hope they're a straight, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, whatever happens to me today, it's lovely to be playing with, the, with these two men. Well, three men, but the, the two golfing heroes of mine from when I first started playing the game. And it's a terrific pleasure. I'm a, it's a big privilege for me, really. I'm very lucky. Well, you haven't been with us for a year or two, so it's no, delighted no. to have you. And you, you've seen this oh, man play soccer, eh? Well, you know, just tell him what a thrill I've had at watching all these great soccer matches. And, of course, I watched Bobby play, and, of course, he was my hero in the soccer oh. field. So this is just a, a good team. <laughs> you were my hero. <laughs> in soccer. In soccer, yeah. yeah. Now, I notice, Mr. Connery, you've changed your partner. You wore him out a few matches ago. Now you've got yeah. Arnie. We're quietly confident. Yes, we're, uh, we feel very good. Do you look, uh, if I may say so, very I'm... macho? Whatever that means. Yeah, yeah. What that I, mean? I don't know what that is. Would you like to spin a... Well, I'll spin. We'll you... your first. <laughs> Tails. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> it's your choice. We'll go first. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. Let me just get... <laughs> right, well, the match is uh, four ball, better ball, over nine selected holes here at Turnbury. So on to the first tee. And the match situation for the Marley Trophy is Arnold Palmer's team leading four matches to three. The familiar opening hole, and I must confess the weather a little kinder today than some of our previous matches, although still a little bit of breeze blowing. Not much so, you can see the old flag stick there just moving a bit, but the flag itself wrapped around the pole. 362 yards, par four, a nice opening hole. And you can see there from the big flag fluttering just alongside the clubhouse that there is indeed, once you get 20 or 30 feet up in the air, quite a stiffish breeze blowing, although it's bright and sunny. Arnold Palmer has elected to tee off first this time, and here he goes with a driver. Win from the right. Pulled it a bit, okay. it'll go on the wind. Good Thank you. But, oh no, kept it up nicely, just goes to the edge of the fairway. Thank you. Uh, Gary Player. Also a driver. Thank you. And again, good swing, good balance. Oh, in the trap. Looking very <laughs> good indeed. <laughs> little tease there from Arnold. And forward we go, some, oh, not far, 30 yards to the celebrity. Here's Sean, using a driver and receiving four strokes in this match. Now, Bobby's using a three wood and he's receiving five strokes, and if he gets going, could be dangerous. May. Beautiful, uh, yes, he's carried the bunker. I thought he might have just caught the bunker, but that's a good long drive from Bobby. <laughs> Oh, our two celebrities today promising to give us a fund of good things between them. There's the big fella. Loves his golf. He really does. Nothing pleases him more than a good day out on the golf course. And Bobby also loves his golf. And, of course, his two daughters, uh, one of them I know is particularly good at horse riding. So a bit of riding, bit of golf, bit of soccer, yep. bit of this and that, can't be bad. Connery, second shot, five iron. Oh, very good. What a superb shot. Thank you.
Hate to hit hard into the wind. Yeah, okay. That's a good tip. John Jacobs used to say, playing into the wind, don't try and hit it harder, try and hit it sweeter. Six iron. Ah. Now, has he pulled it? Yes. Oh, oh, might have been worse. It could have taken one bounce and gone into the road. Where have we got, Tim? 15 yards to the pin. So, Palmer, having hit a very nice drive, has only got a nine iron left. But the wind's hard from the right. Oh, that's not so good. I'd better hurry. It just did. Just, just, just at the chimneys there. Yeah. I'll do my best. Well, Arnold needed one more club, I fancy. This is a nine iron for Bobby. Oh, that'll be on the green. Stay on the green. <laughs> Too far. Gee, uh, that's solid. A nonchalant flick straight through the green. Now, Bobby's gone through the green, but he's going to get a free drop. So I'm behind here. Yeah. yeah. But we're, uh, you can go as far as where Peter's standing there. Mm. Don't drop yeah. it in a bad spot, yeah. will you? How's that? That'll do you. Well dropped. Okay. Well dropped, sir. Great art in dropping well. Charleston's third. Little pitching wedge. Oh, nipped it nicely. Sit, 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 sit. Gary, tricky little pitch. How he leans into the shot, stabs it there. Oh, unlucky. Oh, gee, I hit that so well, too. Perfect shot. Just unfortunate to catch the face of that little bank. Oh. Now, Arnold, long shot from the front of the green, putting it. I think he's just off the green, but uh, out with the putter. Good judgment of speed, if not the slope. Bobby for a four. Nope. Right, she goes. Oh, fast. Best he can do is a net four. Gary for a fall. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. He really is playing some very sweet golf. That saves Bobby a lot of aggravation. Sean, though, very much in the driving seat. This for a net two. Come on. That's very good, partner. Uh, we'll give him that. Oh, yeah, smash Very it nice. A nice opening four and a net three from Connery puts him and Palmer one up. Second hole, that familiar par three, 167 yards. And wind from the sea today. A little bit helping. Very easy to aim off too far and catch the bank and go down on the right as we look back. Palmer first with an eight iron. No, I don't hit it to the right. Could come off the hill. No. Yeah, it's all right, but it isn't good. On this hole, it turns out good, though. Came off the bank and, uh, well, nicely in the middle of the green. Gary, eight iron. Get close, baby. Get close. Get close. Oh, 
look at the back spin there. Thank you. Beautifully struck again. Arnold swing looks rather ungainly nowadays. And he tends to still hit at the ball a little too hard. That's why he's hitting a lot of shots out to the right. The left hip opens a bit too quickly. You see that familiar follow through that's looking just a whisker rusty these days player on the other hand still very fluid look at that wide takeaway tremendous arc big knee action kicks that right knee in now delivers the blow and I don't think I've ever seen him swinging so nicely and easily as I've done over these matches if he can do that in 86 he'll have a great season on the seniors tour Sean Connery also an eight iron Bobby a nine iron. Really does give it a good clip, Bobby. Very strong hands, very strong grip. Gets him into trouble a bit on occasions. Yeah. Yes, not too bad. Yes, beautifully hitting through the ball so well. For the first half, I've started keeping that club as an extension of my left arm, and, yes. and it makes me have to wait, and it makes me pivot. Do you, what do you do? Just do you keep do you keep in shape now? Do you yes. just play a lot of golf, a lot of walking? No, no, I play very little golf. I've got some football schools that I run at the moment. In fact, I've taken a day off to come here today. So you're still dribbling a bit and keeping shape? Oh, yeah, keeping I'm shape. reasonably fit. Yeah. You get the odd charity game to play and... Yes. And, uh, but I, the one thing I miss, I don't miss playing football, but I miss being fit. Oh. Hey. Well, do you still do a lot of running? Every I, day. When I do. finish today, I go in that gymnasium, I work out for 30, 40 minutes. Sit-ups and... Sit-ups, -ups. bicycle, all kinds of weights yeah. for my arms. Because of the seniors coming along, yeah. there's tremendous prize money. I know. Well, you've got to do it. You have to do it. My great pleasure. Congratulations on that uh, nearest the pin. You've got a special Thank award you. here. I'm thrilled. Everything is happening. Could be twice. Twice, have you? Two times I've won it, yeah. And hitting the ball. Hey? Bobby Charlton. Putting for a two. Good stop, stop, stop. Okay. Not That's easy good. to get close from such long range. Arnold for a two. Should start Good to part. turn now. Good part. Oh, Hit it. Yeah, it All right, three you got. Thank you. Conceded three for Arnold. Now Gary for a two. He knows the line comes a bit from his right. Come on, come on. Should turn. No, he's just not giving it enough either. Hit it. Thank you. Sean. Oh, he hit a good putt. Oh, he got the strength, but not quite the line. Too firm, that's all. Right in the heart. <laughs> Just a wee bit too firm. So, two holes have gone. On Palmer, Sean Connery, stay one up. Third hole coming up. There's the green. 411 yards, wind from the left. Very good par four, this hole. The rough isn't too severe on either side of the fairway at the moment. After two very really dry summers and cold winters, there's really not been uh, much growth. Palmer first, his driver. Don't let it slide. He's blocked it a bit again to the right. Well, they're getting longer, tip, but they're getting further offline, too. Player. 
driver. Good shot. Thank you. That's a beautiful Thank you. drive. Thank you. He's loving every Keep moment going. of it. Now, Sean with the driver. Oh, yes, just caught the corner of the bunker, but I think it's escaped. The two old wise men of golf look on with Mrs. Connery just viewing young Bobby. Looks to be aiming a bit left, Bob. Doesn't want to get over the top and pull it left from there. No, it locked it away down the fairway. That extension of his left arm standing him in good stead there, and that's a crackerjack. Absolute beauty. Now, Sean, you can see he's very straight backed. It looks a bit wooden. Arms look a bit stiff. In fact, very similar in some ways to Terry Wogan's swing. A little bit wooden. Really, you get the feeling that the hands don't work as much as they should. He's a big man, six foot two or three. He makes it look rather hard work. You see how much more fluently Charlton seems to swing the club and use his hands. He looks at the ball with his left eye, seemingly, but he cracks his hands in there. Almost like spinning a top. It's a little bit more fluid through the ball. You know, to be a supreme champion, of course, is reward enough and brings many rewards connected with one sport, but it also opens the door to many other things. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This is very, very lovely. I'm I'm you involved in just... Uh, a tremendous amount of things uh, from automobile dealerships uh, to building golf courses uh, I, I suppose that some of them I'm more involved in with than others uh. Arnold Palmer back home in Latrobe Pennsylvania my father was pro here but before he taught me to play golf he taught me to treat the equipment right so we used Pennzoil and I think that old tractor of ours lasted 30 years or more look if Pennzoil and I hadn't taken good care of the equipment, I might have never gotten on the golf course. We are in the uh, flying business uh, now and, and quite heavily into it because it's something that I do and something that, uh, that I'm really personally interested in. We've, we've built the first golf course in China. We're, my people are in Italy right now. Uh, I think it's great for golf and to see so many golf courses being built is, is fantastic. Arnold Palmer. Golfer, aviator, man of many parts. He is a man of many parts. Sean Connery, second shot, eight iron. Oh, let it go. Where's the bunker? Seven. Pushed away. Not good. Palmer's second from heavyish rough, seven iron. Oh, gave it everything he'd got, but uh, just flew across the fairway into rough the other side. No chance, Tip. Got to get it in the fairway. Scotty, it's just a nice wedge, isn't it? It's a nice wedge, yeah. What's he? Give me the yardage again. You don't need that. 107 yards, wind from the left. A good, solid wedge. And could have given it a touch more. Could have given that an ounce or two more. Now, Bobby Charlton, after that super drive, just a pitching wedge. Oh, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Babied it, duffed it, fluffed it. Pity, he was just betwixt and between shots there. Wasn't positive and the result was a duff. Now, lads, be careful. Little rubber dinghies out at sea could be in trouble. Rather like Sean and Bobby. They're both in a spot of trouble at this hole, in need of rescue. Palmer's third shot. Needs to hurry. That is so bad, Tip. 
Bobby had a socket with his third shot and picked up. And so only three players left. And the fourth shot of Palmer's up the green, long putt. Charges it. Didn't want to leave it short. <laughs> oh, Lord. Gary Player putting for a three. What a wonderful touch he still has. Might well have learned something from Arnold's putt. And yes, beautifully judged. Give him a four. Right left? <laughs> I think it's straight in the hole myself. I don't I don't see it moving left much. Now Sean has uh, this for a net four. Needs it. He needs it. He needs oh. it. Right in the middle. So Sean can only get a net five. Three holes have gone. Match all square. On to the fourth. There she is with the wind just shifting round a touch. It's perhaps just a little bit more behind on this par three of 222 yards. Gary with a five wood. Gee, I'll tell you what, that felt pretty sweet too. Just my aim so bad. It really felt neat. Her tip. Two iron? Two twenty-five. I still think it's a one iron. One iron? Yeah. It certainly is, I think, a one iron. The players miss the green by that big bunker on the right. Hit it just exactly where I was aiming. Perfect club tip. Hmm. Ball's pin high now and it didn't roll anywhere. <laughs> Our mates, look at this. One for two, <laughs> every, you see this every day we come here, have you? Oh, stretched out there. Yeah, every day they've been in the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> Bivouac. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That's marvellous. <laughs> Gone for tea. Gone for tea. Now, Bobby, well, he reckons a six iron's going to be enough. Oh, what a beautiful that shot. looked to be a better beautiful. swing. Yes, nicely done. Lovely shot. Now you must forget the disasters of the last hole. Sean with a five iron. Another good one. Ooh, that is perfect. That's good. Watch this one. Get up there. Oh, wanted a bounce. <clears throat> Two good shots, though. They'll be pleased with those. There's Mrs. Charlton, Norma. She'll be pleased as well. The old man's back in the groove. Oh, well, Gary missed the bunker. Uh, this is an awkward little shot. Not a reasonable lie, and uh, quite a bit of green to pitch on to. Perhaps he was a shade fortunate in just dropping it in the ideal spot at the foot of the hill. If he'd carried it another yard, it might have stopped much quicker, but it didn't. And he's almost assured of his three. Palmer with a very similar shot. Now you see he pitched it boldly up and that's a great shot from Palmer. Wonderful shot. 
Well, no one can say these pros aren't trying for this Marley Trophy. They're really trying their hearts out. Connery races one at the hole. Too hard. A little hard. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that putt is? Left edge? Left edge. Huh? This way? I think it's dead straight. Well, I would think it might just move a little bit from left to right. Not much. Depends, uh, depends on the speed. In theory, it should move a little left to right. Gary says straight. Ah, uh, moved Ooh. across. Left, left, back. You were right. You were right at the end. You were right. Yeah. Hole halved. Very good row. Halved in three. And the match remains still all square. On to the par five. Their fifth hole. 528 yards. Wind helping. Reachable quite comfortably, I fancy, today in two although it'll take two fairly big shots player first with a driver how to bounce scott i didn't see this now palmer smacks one away Looked a bit better. He's huffing and puffing a bit today, but the match is all square. Better. Yeah, good spot. <laughs> Thank you. Now Sean with the driver. Go, Bob. Hurry. Hurry. That's it. And oh my, he that's just stays up in the rough. The the that was that's big. No, it's not too big. It got held up on the bank. Pity. Well, he's in trouble. <laughs> Spot a bother there. And Bobby, too, was in trouble with his tee shot. This is where Gary's tee shot ended. What yardage do we have? 195 to carry that bunker. We can't reach the green though, no, can we? we? Can't. So we might as well just front. might as well just plonk it up somewhere. Yep. Okay. Better stand where you can see it up there, Scotty. A squally shower just begins to blow through. Player very much on the upslope. Just going to bump a five wood up the fairway. Made good contact. Very good, but just in the rough, top side of the fairway. Awkward shot in for his third. Now Palmer with a, a three wood. Let's see if he gets a divot with this one. Yep. Oh no! Good Lord, I hit that ball so bad. Tip. Don't believe it. I'm going to be on that uh, crane, eh? Yes, sir. Second shot for Sean, seven wood. Oh, between the bunkers. Between the bunkers, I think. Still an awkward little shot, though, from there for Sean. <laughs> Coaching youngsters now mm -hmm. seems to be a more organised business than it was, say, when you were a young man. You're heavily involved in the coaching scheme for youngsters. Now, how does it actually work? Yeah, well, I, I do some football coaching schools during the summer uh, and occasionally around the country for the, for the sponsor. Um, but it, it really just... It's me as an independent trying to give youngsters something at school age that I, could, I didn't get. Mm. Um, trying to teach them to concentrate on the basic skills rather than physical training. 
trying to uh, undo some of the, the really bad advice that seems to come from touchlines, which seems to influence them. And, and, Any technical uh, and, advice? Uh, no, no, I'll leave that until they get to 16, 17, 18, and they're able to, to take that in. At the, at the junior age, we do, we do them from 8 to 18, but the junior age, we concentrate solely on practice, on the skills, how to control the ball, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the numbers you get to each course? Well, we, this, this, year, this year, we'll, we'll have cleared 20,000 altogether. 20,000? Over five years, yeah, it's marvellous. Really? In fact, we're, we're in so much demand, now we have to do other sports, tennis, cricket, badminton, basketball, fishing. It's hey. lovely. We have another jack in for the fishing. Yes, <laughs> I, I think they couldn't stand the swearing, probably. <laughs> oh, Jack, he's only joking. Charlton's fourth shot. Nine iron. It's an awkward one, too. Yeah. Yeah, good one. Better all the time. Go on, sir. Okay. There for net three. Uh, I'll keep it for you. I better take it with me. And once more, the shower blows through. Sun comes out. Players third. And another good one. Thank you. Palmer's third after that uh, poor second for him. Sand iron. Oh, this could be a... Oh, nearly in the hole. Great shot. One of Palmer's great strengths, a little chipping. Not renowned as a great pitcher of the ball, but uh, that time, well, an ace shot. Sean's third. Oh. Sounded a bit tinny, a bit sharp. That's how not to play it. Just got too much onto the ball, too sharp, a bit thin. Drove it Shot. through. Sean's got a stroke. Full shot. Very nice. Quite a bit to the right, doesn't it? <laughs> now, here's a twist. You mean left? I think it'll bend in that way. You think this way? Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, no, this way. <laughs> <laughs> Every man to his trade. <laughs> yeah, I think you so. Watch, you watch. Bobby thinks right. Gary thinks left. I think my money might be on player. That's it, little as you go. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Ah, the world is a stage. I stand corrected. <laughs> Lovely putt, <laughs> fighting four from player. The big gallery enjoying it enormously. Five holes played, match all square. Mighty C. On to the sixth. Goat fell, 427 yards. And a very good par four indeed. <laughs> the wind, of course, plays such a role here, not only on this course, but any Lynx course. And I'm sure we'll see some dramatic shots played here and the other 17 holes when the Open Championship comes in July. Gary first with his trusty old driver. Oh, a good drive in trouble. In trouble, oh, maybe in the bunker. Arnold so with the drive. Again, that ungainly swing, but perfect. Catch it, boy. Go get it. I mean, now that is a perfect drive, and I'll tell you what, that's not far from that trap. It was only a couple of Huh? I don't know. It was, I was afraid feet, it might go. Exactly. Go. I saw that right hand go. Sean with the driver. That bunker you see up on the right is quite a long way away. That's in the bunker. In the bunker. Plastic. Mm. 
no, stop short. No place to go. Went over it. It's like, it's like a rope around your neck. Yeah. <laughs> well, the famous old lighthouse is beaming away. Only works at night, sir. No Charlton, unfortunately, at this hole. Missed his tee shot and couldn't get back into business, so he's retired, leaving it to his partner. Gary's second from the sand, just picked off cleanly. No chance of reaching the green. Palmer from the ideal spot. Still needs a four iron. Oh, I did it again, Tip. I don't believe it. A rank bad one. I won't come off to the left side. Up there for all you experts to notice. Now, Sean Connery, four iron. Oh, he likes it. He's off after it. Dead on line. And unlucky. Pitched in the bank. Slope that runs through the green. Beautiful shot. Oh, right. Oh, right. Now, Gary, play a third shot with a six iron. Punch one in. Oh, lovely stroke. Lovely little punch shot. Just held it left a bit too much. See how his knees are bent, gripping well down the shaft. Head so still. Three quarter position at the top. See how the body remains passive and still, and the follow through is just cut off there. Beautiful little shot. Yeah. Arnold's third coming up. Well, he's played a couple of wonderful pitches from tricky spots today. Can he do it again? Quite a bit of green to land on, and yes, not enough. But still good. Give him eight out of ten for that one. Big crowd out today. How about that? Now, Gary Player with a, a long putt. Up the slope. Up the slope it comes. Breast the rise, running nicely. It's going in! <laughs> <laughs> what a four. Uh, the old dog loves it as well. That's, uh, it's, you know, that's not real slow up there. It's about medium speed. Connor is third, and Good that's pie. running well, ball. too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give me five. <laughs> so there, you little demon. Oh, oh, oh. What a putt. <laughs> what a putt. Two putts. Two very dramatic putts. And six holes gone, Palmer and Connery, one up. Well, the seventh hole was quite an ordinary affair. It was halved in par fours. Nothing too dramatic there. So we'll make our way to the eighth hole. 209 yards, par three, with Connery and Palmer still one up. Arnold Palmer to go first. He's got a one iron. Pretty small target with the wind across today. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And, oh, a bit unlucky. God, dog. Too much club. One iron. Player also one iron. Ah, missed it. Well, not a bad miss, though, when it comes off that slope. Pretty good miss, oh, I'd say. <laughs> good thing you didn't hit it well. It would have been over where I am. Now, Sean with a five iron. Oh, gone over the top. Pulled it oh. way left. 
shouts, all clatters into a very expensive magic lantern and ricochets back into the bunker. Hit something. Ten or something. Certainly did, but no damage done. Bobby with a seven iron. Whoa, what a swing. What a beautiful swing, Bob. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. You won't know you. Forget about all these other things. You just make sure. Mm. Let's try and win this one. Oh, yes. Huh? We're going to win this one and yeah. the next yeah. one. Put yep. them right yeah. at the post. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to think that way. Think that way indeed. Well, nobody has ever battled harder than Gary Player. But first, Sean out of the bunker, having bounced off our camera. And a bit bold, but well out. Now Arnold, laying the face of the club wide open. Giving it a little stab out and down. Nicely done. Uh, next it's Bobby. A good tee shot, but he really needed one more club. He's got a 20, 25 yard putt. And it's asking a lot to get down in two. But he's judged it beautifully. Oh, nearly in one. That is a superb strike. That's a three. He's a swing, huh? Pardon? I heard that, pardon? Conroy for a three. Oh, never high enough. No, weary willy. Weary willy. Well, didn't take the heat off. <laughs> nice putt, though. Now Gary for a two. Oh, no, I hit a bad putt. Bad putt. Ah, I hit a bad touch. Now, Arnold. This for a half. No, and that was blocked away to the right as well. And Arnold crossly drags it back. And suddenly, with just one hole left, the match is all square. All to play for down this final hole, which is the 16th here on the Ailsa course at Turnbury, their ninth hole, the Wee Burn. And today, quite a formidable hole with the wind across and against. Gary first with his driver, match all square. Thank you. Pretty good. Very good. Good position from there to see everything. Flag, middle, front of the green. Now Palmer. Oh, come on. <laughs> Turn! Oh, just missed the lads and lasses. Good. Blocked it away again. Can you believe you could hold that thing there? Huh? I wouldn't think that, I'll tell you that. Now, Bobby. Come Pretty on. good hit. Just good in the drive, light stuff. Bob. That's all right. Good swing. Now, Sean. Oh, no, you dummy. Yeah, it's not good. Pulled it way yeah, left. It's past the bunker, isn't it? No. Yeah, missed the bunker. God. That's the nerve no, and a danger shot for me, over the top each time. Well, whether the thought of nuclear submarines interrupted their line of concentration, I know not. But there were some wayward second shots. Gary was first to go with a five iron. He was in the best position. 
No, it's in the water. No, Mike, get over. Get over. No, that's in the water. Why did I hit a three iron? I don't know, sir. Nothing to do with me. Just look where dear old Bobby put his second shot after not a bad drive. And then a Lucy Locket, a J. Arthur, call it whatever you will, a shank. And it makes its way down the little steps and onto the rickety rackety bridge. Meanwhile, Gary's picked out of the water and he's got rather cross. He's annoyed with himself for putting his second shot in the water. See if you get him to stand still there, Scotty. Stand still, kid. Yardage, you got any yardage? He's in a bit of a tizzy at the moment. Scotty, forget it. <laughs> he's, he's a bit wound up. He really doesn't want to know the yardage from here, surely. He's only 40 or 50 yards from the hole. And he's played a super shot. There you are. Come on, have a smile. Uh, it only lasts for a second, but he did get a bit cross there. People were moving. And he's so desperate to win. Palmer's third. Through the back of the green, and Arnold's had a little bit of a fluffer. Go on, Bob. Not so good, partner. Now, Sean, fourth shot. Hit it, partner. Hit it, hit it. It's gone left. Oh, you did. Did it go left? Disbelief. Arnold for a four. This to win the match. Yes, well done. Well, that penalty stroke incurred by Gary Player when he went in the water, a very expensive mistake. But a good match, played again under blustery conditions, and, well, as the hotel, the Turnberry Hotel, is bathed in sunshine, Palmer increases his lead to five matches to three for the Marley Trophy. So a win for Arnold and Sean. A very exciting match, a bit slightly scrappy at the end. Touch of the shanks, Bob? Yes. Oh, I'm afraid. Cruel, yeah. that, wasn't it? Yeah, never mind. It was good golf that won it at the end, but it was a smashing game, wasn't it? You enjoyed it. I thought yeah. you'd hold that pitch. Well, it came and close. And so did I. <laughs> and so did Arnold. Yes. But I think we'll give Arnold their green there. Well, he And uh, we'll give Sean the eighth green. <laughs> we, said, we breathed a sigh of relief when it didn't go in because it saved us ten, ten years about hearing about it over and over again. <laughs> <Isn't that true>? <laughs> <laughs> well played. Good putt on the last. Thank you. Yep. And the new swing, My Sean. My partner was good. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. was good. Well, he's been having good. lessons from... Yeah, uh, new swing. Well, Florence has been... Uh, there was pictures it. of it all over the course. I was picking it up as I went along. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Keep great. Because you've got... Next year, I'll have... You've got this fire. Fine photo, sir, painting, watercolour of the famous Turnberry light as a memento of your fine tee shot at the fourth hole, our second. Congratulations. Thank Somebody you. To hang on the, on oh, the wall. Lovely, a lovely little it's picture. Exalted company. Well Thank played you. again, Arnold. Well played. <laughs> you. Commiserations. You. Hope you've enjoyed it at home. I've enjoyed it. Bye-bye now.